Well, the airlines landed a beatdown from the feds this summer, all because of those repeated delays, waves of cancellations, and mountains of lost luggage. That's right. So should we expect a sequel for the holidays? We asked consumer investigator Chris Kimura to find out. Good evening. We found some signs of airline improvement, but also some drama. So there's good reason to buckle up just in case it gets bumpy again. Now boarding? Nonstop trepidation. I think there's some hesitation. The insurance comparison site InsureRanks recently surveyed a thousand people about flights. 71%, nearly three in four people are worried about delays and cancellations for upcoming trips. And justifiably so. Rewind back to summer. Long delays. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Long lines. Three, four hour wait. Longer hold times. And it's a six hour call wait. One airline meltdown. Delayed, delayed, delayed. After another. I really feel sorry for everybody that's traveling. So is flying any better now for the winter holidays? We turn to flight tracking company FlightAware. There's just tens of thousands of aircraft we're tracking around the globe every day. Over the summer, Uncle Sam found more than a quarter of all flights arrived late. Recently, FlightAware found 17% delayed. The summer delays were reaching about one hour on average. Now that's winding down to about 45 minutes, which we like to see. Best on time record between September and November? <phone rings> Delta. Worst? Frontier and JetBlue. Frontier did not respond to us. JetBlue said 70% of its flights go to or through the congested, weather-prone Northeast U.S. corridor. So JetBlue in particular feels these impacts and downline delays. It noted that it's recently canceled zero SFO flights. That's way better than the summer. In June, airlines overall canceled 3% of all flights. Now, FlightAware data show 1.2% getting grounded. Some days less than 1% of flights are canceled in the U.S. The wait to get help on the phone has improved significantly, too. We know because we've made test calls with a stopwatch. Over the summer, it took hours to get an airline agent on the phone. More recently, just a couple of minutes for a human being to pick up. Over the summer, passengers paid the price for an airline staffing shortage. Since May, airlines have hired 11,000 additional workers. But some personnel problems persist. Picketing pilots say airlines are overscheduling with too much reliance on overtime. We're not striking. We're just out doing an informational picket. Right, no strike. But some pilots are refusing overtime shifts. That can cause delays and cancellations with less wiggle room than leg room. There are fewer airline routes in terms of options. The planes are a lot fuller, so when there's even a small disruption, it has a ripple effect for days. Kevin Brassler is editor of Consumer's Checkbook, which recently published 60 travel tips. Here are a few. Pack some essentials in your carry-on just in case your trip takes longer. Hunt down info in advance about the next few flights to your destination in case your flight gets grounded. Download the airline's app and subscribe to alerts. Be first to know there's trouble. And if there's a problem, react immediately because you'll be competing with everyone else on your flight to rebook a seat. Those passengers get spread out across several other flights and there's just no empty seats to accommodate them. Kathleen at FlightAware recommends everyone check the forecast before flying. Have an idea a few days in advance. What are the big weather fronts? When there's trouble on the radar, airlines often issue fee waivers in advance. They might let you go earlier or later or to a different city at no extra cost. And in fact, if they see there's a weather impact or something else going on, they'll actually proactively want you to contact them. So what about lost luggage? Uncle Sam says 99.3% of check bags make it to their destination. But that tiny sliver of luggage that doesn't make it represents 200,000 mishandled or lost bags every month. To track your bags yourself, consider a Wi-Fi tracker like this $40 Apple AirTag. Drop it in your checked bag at the airport. Then, whenever it's near Wi-Fi, you might be able to check it with your smartphone, wherever you are, and help the airline find your bag. If you need a co-pilot with a consumer problem, scan the QR code on your screen and fill out our consumer complaint form online. Safe travels.